Are you in a dispute over a living trust with a family member or maybe someone you know is going through this? Well, today I'm going to have a conversation with Carolyn Graber, a paralegal that has lots of experience with situations like this. So stick around. Okay, so we're back with Carolyn Graber. We talked to her about why it's important to have a living trust, but today we're gonna to talk about um, how to handle a dispute with a living trust. Typically you're maybe fighting and arguing with a loved one and it's never happened to me or any of my clients, but Carolyn, unfortunately, this is something you know all too well. So tell us what happens when there's a dispute. Well, I work on both ends. So let's say on one end, there's a person that's very upset that he knows, let's say the mother or the father were not of sound mind that the trust was being created at the time. What they're going to do with the court is file a petition to dispute it. And the burden of proof, of course, is going to be on them. And then I do get a lot of calls from the other side where we need to oppose it. For instance, I have a client as we speak, I'm dealing with that right now. Oh. So I told her to get like, to prove her mother was of sound mind to get like letters from a doctor, which she did, which is good. And letters from the family at the time that when she was creating the trust, she was perfectly can make sound decisions. Okay. The doctor from the letter is going to hold a lot of weight in court because that's going to be solid for their case, you know, fighting against a family member getting, you know, X, Y, Z percentage, like a lower percentage. So this is, this has happened. It's common. It'll come up. Because a lot of people did you say, find oh, it's I'm more gonna... that someone is dispute? Well, I guess it's that's probably a dumb question, but it's more of a family member's disputing what they're getting, or it's a family member disputing that they were sound of mind when they did it. Well, I guess it's the same, it's both sides. That's what they're disputing. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no question is ever done. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, all questions. You know, I'm trying to wrap my brain around where's, <laughs> where's the, yeah. Design? And, and there's so much to learn because even being 30 years in this business, like, uh, I learn something new every day. It could just be a new code, a new, this, and, you know, it comes up and I talk with, you know, my attorney, uh, colleagues down here and, um, a lot of them will call me because a lot of them, when they want the client to come in, they're a little bit unfamiliar with how the trust disputes work. Oh, so it's common that I will get the attorneys that will call me and say, Hey, I'm in a jam. Can you, you know, what do you charge for this? And, and I just kind of take it from there and put together what they need on the opposition or the petition. If it's a purported trust to dispute, but yes. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Is there sort of like a, I guess every situation would be different again, but an average time frame to, you know, get through that process. We're you talking um, one month, six months. Or is it different? Typically, you're going to see something happen within six months, you know, after the trust has to be the 45 day rule, you know, everyone gets notified <laughs> common if a person just has a gut feeling, hey, I know my mom or my dad, they weren't doing too well, they've got to prove that in court, the subpoena, you know, doc reports and things like that. So I, I do get into complex issues. Yes. You wow. Know. But that can happen. Oh my gosh. So people, if you're thinking you're going to have a dispute coming up or you're already in one, Carolyn is your person. She's the best paralegal. And look at, she's even telling us that attorneys are calling her for help. So she knows her just, stuff. Just, I'm just saying, this is what, you know, yeah, but I, I try to help them out and, I, and we kind of help each other. It's like a club down here. So, oh my gosh, I we love watch that. Out for each other, yeah. Yeah. So again, anyone out there having to dispute a trust, give Carolyn a call. Carolyn, thank you so much for talking to us again. Yeah. You're such a great resource. I really appreciate it. Appreciate so have a good it. one and I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that. Carolyn is just a fantastic resource. If you or someone you know needs a living trust, is going through a dispute, give her a call. I'm Annie. Don't hesitate to reach out with any questions about real estate. And until next time, have a great one.